And I love data guard, especially for migrations. Why is that? Well, because it is so fast, yet still it is so simple. And data guard is in addition to that, something that many of us are already very familiar with. We use it in our day-to-day -day operations. Also with data guard, you get the possibility of testing before go live by using snapshot standby databases. It's also very flexible. You can change to a different uh, file system or a different storage layout, and you can even go cross-platform in some situations. The flip side to using DataGuard is that you must be able to install your old Oracle home on the new platform. So if you plan to go to the latest and greatest version of Oracle Linux, it might not be that you can install the old Oracle home on that new uh, operating system, and in that case, you can't use DataGuard. The concept looked like this. You have your uh, current database running on your old hardware and the users are connecting to it. While the database is still up and running, you can build a copy of the database. In this example, I'm doing a duplicate from the active database, but you could also restore from a backup. After that, you configure redo apply to keep the two databases in sync. While all this has happened, the users are still connected to the database and it's still up and running. Then at your will, when it's time to complete the migration, you simply do a data guard switch over. And typically that only takes a few minutes. And if you have a well-behaving application that understands the events that are sent from the database before the switch over, it might be that the users doesn't even know that a switchover has taken place. A variation to this is to do migration and upgrade at the same time. And in this example, we've already built the standby database and configured redo apply. Now the users are connected to the old system, but now it's time to complete the migration. So we drain the source database, we disconnect the users, we ensure that all the changes from the primary database has been synchronized to the standby database. We then cut the connection between the two databases and do an upgrade of the database. When that has happened, we can allow the users to reconnect to the new and upgraded target database. In this scenario, we have additional downtime because we have to keep the database down while we do the upgrade. You will notice here that my database is no longer protected by DataGuard. Since we have cut the connection between the two databases, we only have one database that is not protected anymore. You can then, after that, build a new standby database, or if you prefer, you can use what we call the cascading standbys. To use this approach, you build first a regular standby database on your new hardware, you then build an additional standby database, a cascading standby, but you connect that to the other standby database, not the primary. When it's time to complete the migration, you stop the synchronization from the old database and the first standby now becomes the new primary and the second standby is now a regular standby database. So by using this approach, you can ensure that your database is protected by data guard from the second that you do the migration.